Oh man, it's been a while since I've done this. Kind of forgot how. <laughs> um, hello. Uh, glad to be back. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm going to tell you right now that this audio was not planned. This was not something I scheduled, not something I prepared for. I literally just grabbed my phone, grabbed my gaming headphones with the adapter thing and plugged them into my phone, hit record. So that's why this audio sounds kind of bad compared to other ones I've made. But I want to get straight to the point. This audio is meant for you to listen to whenever you need it. This isn't a role play. This isn't a an escape from reality. This is a matter of fact, kind of like a reality check. But not a harsh one. <laughs> I'm not here to to ruin your day or, you know, rain on your parade for whatever reason. I'm here to tell you about how life can definitely do a 180 on you. And sometimes it can end in tragedy, sometimes it can end in fairy tale like endings. But then there's also something in the middle. Anyway, I digress. I just want to let you know that wherever you are in life and wherever life takes you, whether it be down to the very lowest of the lows or the highest of the highs, keep yourself grounded. Keep yourself level-headed. Um, I say this because more likely than not, you're going to run into your lows, your very lowest of the lows, the ones that feel like you can never get back up from, the ones that when you fall down, you're like, well, this is it, Jesus, take the wheel, I'm done. But <laughs> don't give up on, on being happy. Find something that grounds you, and, and what I mean by that is find something that keeps you still amongst the chaos that is life. When everything's just flying around like in a tornado, find something that keeps you anchored down. Whether it be someone, something, find something that kind of holds you down to help you understand and help you remember that you can stop. Like as in everything can go back to normal or at least everything can, co everything can settle down. I think that's what I was trying to get at. Everything will settle down eventually. So find that thing that keeps you grounded. Like I said, whether it be another loved one, whether it be a person, a family member, somebody you can talk to, somebody you can confide in. It can even be something you enjoy doing. Invest in your hobbies. Find something that takes your mind off of wallowing in sadness when the lows get really low. Find something that takes your mind off of it. One thing I've always remembered is that pain is inevitable. You're not going to avoid it. You're going to run into it sooner or later. It's it's going to come at you whether it be today, tomorrow, but it's going to it's coming. It's coming. But whether you suffer from it is up to you. You make that decision. You can decide whether or not, hey, yes this hurts, but there's always a positive. There's that whole silver lining stuff it's true and sometimes it's really hard to believe and sometimes it's easier said than done of course it is but there's always a silver lining there's always something positive to be gained from a negative otherwise the negatives wouldn't be there either it's you know you gotta take the good with the bad can't have a little sunshine without a little bit of rain and vice versa uh, whole rainbow stuff yeah I think you know what I mean bad things are gonna happen you're gonna get hurt trust me you are going to get hurt and it's gonna hurt bad and just when you think oh it's not this isn't the worst it can get trust me <laughs> you can always be worse and that's another thing too that's another thing I, I always tell myself it could always be worse and be grateful that it isn't focus on that while yes things can happen to where you're just you feel so defeated that 
you just want to give up. Always remember that things could be worse. There's other people that have done and can do and will do. There's things that they can do with less. They can do more with less. So while, yes, it's going to hurt and you're going to be down for a little bit, don't stay there. Try and find whatever little possibility piece of positivity that you can hang on to and hold on to it. It can be something as simple as reinvesting your time in a hobby that you thought you could never do again. Play video games. Go outside. Travel. Just even as simple as taking a walk can take your mind off of things for a little bit and give you a better perspective, better perspective that you need and better outlook to approach whatever you have going on and you'll be more level-headed for it it'll you'll come out more positive instead of staying where you are where you're at and just you know boohoo this sucks I hate this and while I agree while it's easier to do that just it's not good for you it is what it is so you might as well do something to get yourself out of it instead of you know staying in that negative space and I want to tell this to anybody that's going through a rough time and that's going through troubles with life your you know family your finances your whatever's going on school work etc etc this applies to everybody and I want you to listen you are never alone. I don't want you to I don't want you to hear that again. You are never alone. There are people that love you. There are people that care about you. There are people who are willing to give whatever they can give to make sure you get back up on your feet whether it be financially, emotionally, spiritually, etc., etc., etc. But you are never alone in this world. And if you think you are, it's because you haven't looked hard enough. It's because part of it is that you're pushing away the people that want to help. I mean, yes, there's some people that claim to help or want to be there for you that don't do as much as they say or think they will be. But regardless, no matter what, you are always going to have somebody and maybe what you gain out of out of all of it out of when the dust settles maybe what you gain out of it is a better relationship with people because you i mean as people we are a social creature we need companionship and yes you can be introverted and you can be you know you can keep to yourself and i'm like that too like i <laughs> i tend to keep to myself whether it be my problems whether it be my emotions i tend to keep that stuff to myself because i feel like i can take care of this stuff like this is my deal i'm good that's fine and then other people can kind of see me as like oh he's always happy so it's great but you know i i have things going on that i can take care of and that's cool i don't need to burden anybody with that kind of that kind of negativity and yeah it's it that's just how i am but i feel like over time you have to learn to lean on other people because a lot of the things you can't do on your own and as alone as you may think you are there's going to be somebody that stands out amongst the rest that will be there to help you to keep you grounded to keep you from falling completely into like a black hole of negativity um, and I know I'm probably ranting and, and I'm sorry but the message that I want to give and this again is to everybody to anybody that needs to hear this is that you are not alone somebody is always going to be there who cares about you who loves you who enjoys the time that you have to spend there's people out there that will give everything they have for you and just don't think that 
there isn't absolutely anybody. Just don't give up on them, because that's kind of it too. Like you, if you don't think you have anybody, just it's kind of you giving up on people. Give people a chance to help you. Let people into your life. Let people into your heart. Don't be scared to let people help you. And you'll be a stronger person for it. Because you can also, in turn, be somebody that they can lean on in the future. And who knows? I mean, maybe the person that you lean on has something that's going on with them. And then, you know, you can just basically bounce support off of each other. Bing bong, bing bong. I don't know. But I kind of wanted to get that off my chest. And at the same time, I, I wanted to kind of leave this as a memento slash, I don't know, something to, <laughs> something to give to somebody, whoever needs it. And I'm not going to just make it ex exclusive to somebody that has this link or whatever, you know. Basically what I'm saying is I felt like it's something that needs to be shared and not told a lot. Like, it, it hasn't been spread around. Like, I'm sure it has, but I don't see it a whole lot. Uh, at least this kind of audio, where it's literally just me talking to you. A lot of the times it's like a, it's in like a tweet, or an Instagram post, or it's, you know, a meme slash, you know, inspirational quote left on an Instagram photo. But this is just like a personal thing that I want to share with everybody and anybody because I feel like we all deserve it we all deserve to be told that hey it's gonna be okay it's okay to not be okay just don't stay that way did that rhyme? cool anyway um yeah this is this is me a random stranger telling you with with all the love and in, and and like good intentions that everything will be okay you're not alone and learn to let people help you learn to let people into your heart and into your soul and <laughs> don't be afraid to lean on other people because a lot of the times things can't be done on your own and it's really hard and it's just gonna make you wanna quit but don't let that happen okay so listen you, whoever's listening, you got this, okay? Whatever you got going on, just whether it's bad, whether the worst thing you got going on right now, trust me, it can always be worse. It can always be worse. So be grateful for what you have. Love the people around you. Share the positivity. And never forget that I'm rooting for you. And, you know, I'm a complete stranger, but I'm rooting for you, whoever you are that's listening. So keep it up. You do you, boo-boo. Just stay positive, and I promise everything will be okay. All right? Okay? Cool. All right. Also, <laughs> uh, one last thing. I do plan to come back here. This channel is not dead to me. It's not like I abandoned the project. I mean, I kind of did, but I just want to let you know this is not over. This is not the end. This is not me saying, oh, this is my final goodbye. No, I'm, I'm coming back. I just haven't found the time and the means to do it. And I want to do it right because I owe it to you guys. I, I owe it to you guys to produce really good content and... You guys have been so supportive. You guys have been so kind, and your comments have been so sweet. And I owe it to you guys to, if I'm going to do this again, I want to do it right. And I want to do it better every time. So, once again, not dead. <laughs> Channel's not dead. I'm coming back. Um, so for now, thank you for, thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. Continue being you. Don't let anybody change who you are just do you as long as it doesn't hurt anybody else because <laughs> that's bad that's not good anyway uh that's all i really have okay bye